Hey guys, I'm gonna try to give you a quick overview because I'm gonna be running to my next appointment and I wanted to get this to you as soon as I could. Overall, JJ thought the house was in a pretty good shape. I'll send you a few pictures. Um, the electrical box is good. He said it's got copper wiring. This is the one in the garage. Uh, he said the house is grounded uh, on both the interior and the exterior um, panels. He said there's some antioxidant that's happening that is hitting the main feeds. Then you need to have an electrician get some gel on those and need some grommets in the boxes. But he said that's not a big deal. Um, in the garage, obviously the drywall that's missing. Uh, he said it doesn't look like there's any water stains above that would have caused that. Um, but it will affect your fire rating issues. So you'll have to replace that before you sell it. There's a hole in the back door and neither of the two back doors are fire rated. Um, the water heater said, he said it's 2007. Um, he said there is a drip leg that exists. So he said that's pretty good and the water heater looks like it's in pretty good shape. The attic has a six inch insulation. Um, he said that the um, turbines, turbines look good. The gable vents look good. Um, no real water issues on the um, sub, the, the roof subfloor, so that's good. But he did say that they did not replace the floor when they replaced the shingles. So next time a roof goes on, it needs to be replaced. Um, the garage doors are a little askew, so it's not just a couple of pieces of broken glass. It's actually uh, needs to have a garage door company come out and look at it. Um, he said Terminex came out and did a WDI inspection in 2003. I think this dude bought it in 2008, but it, he doesn't see any evidence of any termite treatment. Um, the outside condenser is 1999. He said he thinks it's in pretty good shape. It was kicking out some good air. Um, and that the HVAC condens condensation line is, is in really good position. It's running away from the house. He said that's a really good sign. He doesn't usually see that in homes this age. But the unit is an R22, so when that does, uh, if you run low on coolant, and it finally cracks, you're gonna to have to replace that unit. But he said it should, you know, if you're gonna do a flip, it should service it and then it should be good. Uh, it is a gas unit and the, um, the filters need to be changed. Um, he said there are definitely dirty ducts and he thinks it's because they've been running it without good filters. So it may need to be a, a little bit cleaned. Um, in the half bath and the master bath, um, or the, the, the hall bath and the master bath, there's a vent behind the toilets. And he said that's usually evidence of a termite treatment in the past because instead of plate replacing the sheetrock they just put those vents on there um he did we did identify that there is a grade beam crack at the front of the house kind of where that water is leaking uh he said that's the what's running down the hallway and um at the front right corner of the house it's positive 0 0.4 and the back right corner in the master bedroom it's negative 1.4 so you got a one inch drop there and then on the front of the dining room, in the in the formal living room, it's 0 0.4, and the back of the house is negative 1.2. So he said it's just tilting to the back of the house. So um, he said that would be um, a Heather conversation. He said it's not terrible, but you probably will need to do some beams or some piers in there just to shore it up. Um, he said the back porch, you know, the over um, cover. He said you know, you might want to have a roofer look at the pitch on that. Um, and then the gap from the patio to the house, fill it in with dirt and then do another, like a cement transition there after you do any foundation work, just to prevent water from getting near your foundation. The roof where we have that leak is an active leak. It's actually a, a hole, it's small. It, it almost looks like it was something from maybe a satellite dish or something. It's not a rodent hole, it's perfectly drilled. So it looks like it might've been maybe a satellite dish that they removed but they didn't fix it right um so he said that's a pretty easy fix i'll send you a few pictures overall it's a good house um i tried to reach out to the listing agent again no answer so if you want to make an update to your offer or add an escalation please let me know because we'll have to do that um as soon as i get back to the office and that's probably not going to be till eight o'clock tonight but i can certainly tell her that we're going to be adding it or i can offer her an opportunity to you know counter us if she's open to that um, overall JJ said he thought it was a pretty good house he said that musty smell is probably because um, there's a I, I don't know four or five bags of trash in the kitchen that need to go out and he said that if no one's been running the air in there for a month or so and the neighbor said no one's been there for a while 
Um, he said it'll automatically be musty. So it needs to be cleaned, serviced, and then run. Think that's it? Let me know what you think. All right, bye guys.